Nerenth and Rinkaius told me about this place. Mayrun's Dagon chased some long-forgotten enemy to this realm, and laid waste to the plain. I don't know. It's just a feeling. Nothing that will help us find Sister Seldina or another Cataclyst, if that's the... Looks like an archive of some sort. Let's see if it contains anything that can help us. Says Emperor Morica personally ordered Elegion to design the cataclysts for Mayrun's Dagon. Saldina bore a child to Emperor Morica because she thought Mayrun's Dagon told her to? That's crazy, isn't it? Sister Seldina worships destruction because she sees Mayrun's Dagon as a way to repair the design of Magnus by dis- So they forced Elegion to have visions and create the Cataclyst as part of some deal between the Longhouse Emperors and Mayrun's Dagon. Yes, can you believe it? They think they can make more of those terrible incarnates and fight. She believes that Mayrun's Dagon will destroy the world with fire in order to remake it. Right, a daughter. I suppose she'd be Emperor Leovic's half-sister. Have you heard? I've seen this place. A glimpse in my fragments of memory. My amulet. It's drawn to the altar. That altar and my amulet. I wonder. Hey, I've got an idea. I had an idea, and then suddenly, the memories are overwhelming. The power I summoned to deal with the Riven Cataclyst. I think I can do that again by unlocking everything this mask has been keeping from me. I remember things that aren't here now. If you see any of the items I mentioned, move closer and examine them.
Do you know why I brought you here, novice Maraid? I... I do not, revered sister. Because I could not leave you in isolation any longer. You must know the truth. You are the daughter of Emperor Morakar. And I am your mother. We will finish your training here. Do not disappoint me. When Magnus saw the mortal world was flawed, he abandoned its creation. Foolishly, the other gods proceeded and doomed us to suffering. Learn this well. Joy is an illusion. Love is a lie. What became of Magnus, mother? Magnus watches from the sun, waiting to repair what the others set amiss. You will give him that chance, Maraid. Everything depends on you. I don't understand the lesson of this tapestry. What does it mean? Mehrun's Dagon stands before Magnus as a weapon of hope. He possesses the power to shatter the mortal world so it can be remade. But a spark within the world is required to summon Dagon's cleansing fire from oblivion. You, my child, will be that spark. Oh, Mother, I... I can't do that. You dare deny your destiny, Maraid? The blood of emperors flows through your veins. This is your purpose. You will see it done. Control your powers, protect you from them, and as long as you wear it, all will forget you, including yourself and your mother. Thank you, Elagian. I can't do as she asks. I won't be responsible for the end of the world. I will forget you too, my reed. But I will leave you with my name, and I'll hold on to your father's amulet. If you ever need your memories, find me. The amulet is the key. This portal will take you to Fargrave, to a new life and a new world. My mind feels like shattered glass, reflecting images from a thousand shards. Then you know, Sister Seldina is my mother. It's all coming back. Elegion was ordered to make me a mask to protect me from my powers. No. I want her to see what I've become. The girl she tried to turn into a weapon is the same woman tearing down her wretched cult. Sister Seldina must be nearby. I'll put an end to this myself. Attacking! Not from broke to the ward!
our raid. Together, we can destroy Moon and set everything aright. Set aright? I refuse to be your weapon, Mother. I I'm here to have waited stop you. for you. Who you have her? to stop her. You do not know what you are. You dare turn my daughter against me? You will be cleansed in the fire that remakes the world. Now that you're here, tell me what happened in Deadlight. Valkanas Nakvras and an entire cohort of Dromora attacked the portal to Deadlight. They... Why would Valkanas Nakvras take the Anchorite? We saw that she had some power over the Cataclyst, but what use of that would Nakvras have? You unlocked her memories? Overcome the power of her mask? The daughter of a Longhouse Emperor and a powerful follower of Mehrunes Dagon. We can't allow Nokfroz to harm the Anchorite or spill a drop of her blood. We will deal with that shortly. You... We can't leave the Anchorite in Valkanaz Nokfroz's hands. I always have a plan, Mortal. We will require allies for this. Portal keys, when properly attuned, can open paths where none existed before. Go on. Not cross will come for far greater. Ah, next my week. favorite mortal returns. I do appreciate when Lyrinth deigns to share you with me. You too? Ardent hope is Valkanar's Nakras a seat of power, and it now appears that he is supreme among Mehrun's Dagon's vassals. And if he succeeds, I would be foolish to defy the new regime. Still, it would be irksome to live under the Prince of Destruction's authority. At least. Hmm. This key would allow me to open a portal directly into the fortress, which might give you a chance, no matter how slim. Very well. I can't abide the Anchorite in Vulcanar's Nakras's grip, not our darling of the alleys. Need? No, but it I was not always the entrepreneurial Mazken who stands before you. Long ago... Drozu, gather the Bladebearers. We must attack Ardent Hope before Nakras makes his next move. Our swords are yours to command, Ring Caius. Let's 
Let's ride. the stones with the ruins nearby, while I attune the portal key. What do you think you'll make with that? Tuned portal key. Care for you, sweet mortal. Always. Let Lear and then the others worry about these affairs and come back to Fargrave with me. Oh, I was only having a bit of fun. You are so deliciously stoic. And correct, I must admit. What else would you call the Blade Bearer's action? While they draw the attention of Nokroza's forces, you must move quickly. The blade bearers will keep the fortress's defenders occupied. Leave that to your clan, Rinkaius, and come with us. We could use your sword. I will face Nokvaraz in open battle, in the sight of my kin. That is the path of honor. Well said, blade bearer, but I will destroy... Good hunting, mortal. My blade bearers and I will draw the ire of Nokvaraz's army while you infiltrate the keep. A mortal worry. We are Dremora. We do not die. We return. The stronger will fight for his position. The weaker will await the rise of a new leader. The paths of oblivion are dark and strange, mortal. We must reach the Anchorite before Valkanaz Nokvraz can use her blood to fuel his perfect. Rinkaius and his blade bearers will assault the front gate. We must prevent Nokfroz from using... Let's just say I have an idea on how we may use... Lirenth is correct, Master. Before I was cursed with the form you see behind... Hate is too weak a word for what I feel, Master. As you say. Watch for blood events. They are not Claus's most trusted servants. If we encounter them, the Anchorite may be involved. Look out! Yeah. 
he smells different. Keep looking. The anchorite. She's me. I sense her presence as well. There. Blood Lord Zava. And he has the anchorite. Let us listen in. Your blood will empower the perfected cataclyst and birth an incarnate to conquer all for Mayrun's Dagon. I'll destroy that device just like I destroyed the Riven Cataclyst. Volcanaz Nakfroz, cast down the foolish Aerox and purge the Order of the Waking Flame. You will submit too. Bring her. Nakfroz awaits us in the volcano. And you there, in the shadows, we will deal with you soon enough. Foolish! When I am restored, I will return and slaughter them all! Another time, Aerox. How do we reach that volcano? Through the door to the north. The blade bearers draw the attention of most of the fortress, but they will not endure much longer. We must hurry. <laughs> Falter. These are the mighty blade bearers. Neil Rikaius, or Volcanar's Nakvras will erase your clan from existence. The path to the Cataclysm lies ahead, but the blade bearers are in trouble. If they fall, all eyes will turn toward us as we ascend. I am guessing, but a guess is all I have. Time, or lack thereof, is the issue. If I had more of it, I could work out a permanent solution. If we want to save the Blade Bearers and the Anchorite, yes. I will also need to stay behind. Break the rod! Release me to seek my vengeance! I demand it! The magic is released. Get ready, Daedrat. Your final flight is about to begin. The wrath of Aerox the Mutilator. Behold your doom! Aerox has returned! Run! Blade bearers, on your feet, rally to me! Come, mortal. I can smell Nakwaz's fear. Take the path of cinders. And I will help you reach the Anchorite. Go, mortal. The blade bearers will aid you as we can.
No remorse! Too late, mortal! The Anchorite's blood flows through the catalyst, and soon, Balkanar's Nakaras will emerge transformed! No bonds can withstand Aerox's teeth! You are free!
actually did it! I wasn't sure you'd come for me, but I'm glad you did. Wait. Do you feel that? Something's coming. Oh, oh no. Your trolls underestimated you. You are indeed powerful. For mortals. Oh, Fargrave, how I missed you. Well fought, all of you. Lord Aerox, it was an honor to share a battlefield with you. Yes. Forever they will fear my name. No matter what form I wear. Back to the House of Whims. We need time to recover. And to talk. Walk the streets with pride, mortals. You saved Fargrave. And most likely Nairn, as well. But did you hear? Mayrun's Dagon said he had plans for me. Yes. The Prince of Destruction took note of you, Anchorite. You overcame his most powerful means. There has to be more to it than that. My mother, Sister Seldina, told me I would help Mayrun. turned out to my satisfaction. I learned what I needed to, and you eliminated the threat of incarnates laying waste to Fargrave and the mortal world. You have served me well, and I have a certain fondness for you, mortal. But do not presume that we are friends. The Anchorite has demonstrated the ability to survive whatever hardships come her way. It is over for now, little mortal. I, too, am curious about the daughter of a longhouse emperor. We have done well, little mortal. It is over for now, little mortal. I, too, am curious about the daughter of a law. We stopped the Waking Flame's threat to Blackwood and saved Fargrave from the Incarnates. But many questions remain unanswered. I want to resume our search for the fourth ambition. And we should track down the other ambitions, Sombrin and Kalia. They need to rejoin us before Mayrun's Dagon's lackeys find them. I sent for your wood elf friend, Evely Sharp Arrow. I asked her to comb through the Longhouse Emperor's documents. The window of opportunity closes quickly, mortal. Both for what? Do you seek praise? You have done as I asked and been compensated. That is the mortal custom, is it not? Gratitude is a mortal concept. Still carried me until I was able to fly once more. That deserves recognition. I will simply say this. You are the first mortal I do not wish to eat. Ah, I did not do it for you or the Anchorite Master. I did it because it offered my best chance for vengeance. <laughs> You do not know as much about Daedra as you think, Master. Lyranth has been a bad influence on me. I confess I am curious about your doings. <laughs> <laughs> 